we start with a puzzle. You may have heard that every action has an equal and opposite reaction, and that is true, but it does not mean that every force is cancelled out. How does anything ever happen? The solution will be given near the end of the video. Welcome to this Nothing Nerdy video on Newton's Third Law. Here is the statement from the IB Physics Guide. Newton's Third Law says that the forces always exist in pairs. You should know how to apply this important idea. Here is a typical multiple choice question on this topic. You should be able to answer it by the end of the video. Here is Newton's Third Law of Motion. It says, whenever a particle A exerts a force on another particle B, B simultaneously exerts a force on A with the same magnitude in the opposite direction. This is often paraphrased as, for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. That is true, but we must be clear in understanding what the law means in practice. As a reminder, every force operates between two objects, one which causes the force and the other which feels the effect of the force. The third law tells us that there is always an equal and opposite force exerted by the second object on the first. Here, the woman is exerting upward forces on the bar. According to Newton's third law, there will be equal and opposite forces exerted on the woman by the bar. Here they are. The green forces are the push of the bar on the woman. These forces are not the weight of the bar, though they are caused by its weight and they are equal in size to its weight. But the weight of the bar is a force exerted on the bar by the earth. And this is how we can express it in an equation. The force of the woman on the bar is equal in size but opposite in direction to the force of the bar on the woman. Or to put it another way, the pair of forces adds up to zero. Here is another example. There is a gravitational attraction between any two bodies, so the force that the moon exerts on the earth is equal and opposite to the force the earth exerts on the moon, even though their masses are very different. Newton's third law tells us that forces always work in pairs, that they never exist alone, but also that there are always two objects involved in the pair. As we know, forces always involve two objects, one which causes the force and the other which receives the effect of the force. And so we also know that Newton's third law involves the same pair, acting on each other and therefore question A is wrong because there are three bodies involved but we can see that D involves the horse and the cart and then the cart and the horse and that one is therefore correct. This puzzle is asking the question if all Newton's third law pairs add up to zero don't they just cancel each other out? Since our everyday experience is that things do move and accelerate, the answer is obviously no. The reason is that the forces are acting on different bodies, with different masses, so they cause different accelerations. Your body pulls on the earth with an equal and opposite force, but the observable effect is much less because its mass is so much greater than yours. Mm -hmm.